It so happened. Supplementary reader in English for class eight, chapter six, the fight, page forty-five. One. Ranji discovers a pool in the forest and plunges into it for a swim. There is a serious trouble between him and someone else over who has a right to the pool. A fight ensues. The first round ends with a draw. Now the text. Ranji had been less than a month in Rajpur when he discovered the pool in the forest. It was the height of summer and his school had not yet opened and having as yet made no friends in this semi hill station. He wandered about a good deal by himself into the hills and forests that stretched away interminably on all sides of the town. It was hot, very hot at that time of the year, and Ranji walked about in his vest and shorts, his brown feet white with the chalky dust that flew up from the ground. The earth was parched, the grass brown, the trees listless, hardly stirring. waiting for a cool wind or a refreshing shower of rain it was on such a day a hot tired day that ranji found the pool in the forest the water had a gentle translucency and you could see the smooth round pebbles at the bottom of the pool a small stream emerged from a cluster of rocks to feed the pool During the monsoon the stream would be a gushing torrent cascading down from the hills but during the summer it was barely a trickle now the word meaning interminably means endlessly parched means hot and dry translucency means clarity possible to see through torrent means rushing stream of water cascading means coming down like a waterfall trickle means weak or thin flow of water page 46 the rocks however held the water in the pool and it did not dry up like the pools in the plains when ranji saw the pool he did not hesitate to get into it he had often gone swimming alone or with friends when he had lived with his parents in a thirsty town in the middle of the rajputana desert there he had known only sticky muddy pools where buffaloes wallowed and women washed clothes he had never seen a pool like this so clean and cold and inviting he leaped into the water his limbs were supple free of any fat and his dark body glistened in patches of sunlit water The next day he came again to quench his body in the cool waters of the forest pool. He was there for almost an hour sliding in and out of the limpid green water or lying stretched out on the smooth yellow rocks in the shade of broad-leaved sal trees. It was while he lay thus that he noticed another boy standing a little distance away staring at him in a rather hostile manner. The other boy was a little older than Ranji, taller, thick-set with a broad nose and thick red lips. He had only just noticed Ranji, and when Ranji did not say anything, the other called out, "What are you doing here, Mister?" Ranji, who was prepared to be friendly, was taken aback at the hostility of the other's tone. "I am swimming," he replied. "Why don't you join me?" I always swim alone said the other this is my pool i did not invite you here the stranger strode up to ranji who still sat on the rock and planting his broad feet firmly on the sand said as though this would settle the matter once and for all don't you know i am a warrior i do not take replies from villagers like you page 47 so you like to fight with villagers said ranji well i am not a villager i am a fighter i am a warrior i am a fighter they had reached an impasse 
one had said he was a warrior and the other had proclaimed himself a fighter there was little else that could be said you understand that i am a warrior said the stranger feeling that perhaps this information had not penetrated ranji's head i have heard you say it three times replied ranji then why are you not running away i am waiting for you to run away i will have to beat you said the stranger assuming a violent attitude showing ranji the palm of his hand i am waiting to see you do it said ranji you will see me do it said the other boy ranji waited the other boy made a strange hissing sound they stared each other in the eye for almost a minute then the warrior slapped ranji across the face with all the force he could muster ranji staggered feeling quite dizzy there were thick red finger marks on his neck there you are exclaimed his assailant will you be off now for answer ranji swung his arm up and pushed a hard bony fist into the other's face and then they were at each other's throats swaying on the rock tumbling on to the sand rolling over and over their legs and arms locked in a desperate violent struggle gasping and cursing clawing and slaving they rolled into the shallows of the pool even in the water the fight continued as spluttering and covered with mud they groped for each other's head and throat now the word meaning impasse also pronounced impasse means deadlock place or position from which there is no way out penetrated means gone through or into muster means hear use collect or gather staggered means felt weak unsteady due to blow assailant means the person who attacks here enemy adversary swaying means moving from side to side in the fight spluttering means speaking quickly confusedly page 48 now the text but after 5 minutes of frenzied unscientific struggle neither boy had emerged victorious their bodies heaving with exhaustion they stood back from each other making tremendous efforts to speak now now do you realize i am a warrior gasped the stranger do you know i am a fighter said ranji with difficulty they gave a moment's consideration to each other's answers and in that moment of silence there was only their heavy breathing and the rapid beating of their hearts then you will not leave the pool said the warrior i will not leave it said ranji then we shall have to continue the fight said the other all right said ranji but neither boy moved neither took the initiative the warrior had an inspiration we will continue to fight tomorrow he said if you dare to come here again tomorrow we will continue this fight and i will not show you mercy as i have done today now the word meaning frenzied means violent exhaustion means tiredness fatigue tremendous means great rapid means quick fast inspiration here a new idea page 49 I will come tomorrow said Ranji I will be ready for you They turned from each other then and going to their respective rocks put on their clothes and left the forest by different routes Comprehension check 1 In what way in the forest pool different from the one which Ranji knew in the Rajputana desert 2 The other boy asked Ranji to explain himself one of two what did he expect ranji to say two of two was he in your opinion right or wrong to ask this question three between ranji and the other boy who is trying to start a quarrel 
give a reason for your answer. Four, then we will have to continue the fight, said the other. One, what made him say that? Two, did the fight continue? If not, why not? Now, part two. Next day, the two claimants face each other across the pool. They throw challenges and counter challenges at each other. The best solution they realize lies not in fighting each other but fighting together for something. Now the text. When Ranji got home, he found it difficult to explain the cuts and bruises that showed on his face, leg and arms. It was difficult to conceal the fact that he had been in an unusually violent fight and his mother insisted on his staying at home for the rest of the day. That evening, though, he slipped out of the house and went to the bazaar, where he found comfort and solace in a bottle of vividly coloured lemonade and a banana leaf full of hot sweet jalebis. He had just finished the lemonade when he saw his adversary coming down the road. His first impulse was to turn away and look elsewhere. His second to throw the lemonade bottle at his enemy. Page 50 But he did neither of these things. Instead, he stood his ground and scowled at his passing adversary. And the warrior said nothing either, but squalled back with equal ferocity. The next day was as hot as the previous one. Ranji felt weak and lazy and not at all eager for a fight. His body was stiff and sore after the previous day's encounter. But he could not refuse the challenge. Not to turn up at the pool would be an acknowledgement of defeat. From the way he left just then, he knew he would be beaten in another fight. But he could not acquiesce in his own defeat. He must defy his enemy to the last or outfit him. For only then could he gain his respect. If he surrenders now, he would be beaten for all time. But to fight and to be beaten today left him free to fight and be beaten again. As long as he fought, he had a right to the pool in the forest. Now the word meaning squalled means looked angrily. Adversary means opponent or enemy. Ferocity means fierceness, suggesting anger or cruelty. Acquiesce means accept quietly. Page 51 He was half hoping that the warrior would have forgotten the challenge. But these hopes were dashed when he saw his opponent sitting, striped to the waist on a rock on the other side of the pool. The warrior was rubbing oil on his body. He saw Ranji beneath the sal trees and called a challenge across the waters of the pool. Come over on this side and fight, he shouted. But Ranji was not going to submit to any conditions laid down by his opponent. Come this side and fight, he shouted back with equal vigour. Swim across and fight me here, called the other, or perhaps you cannot swim the length of this pool. But Ranji could have swum the length of the pool a dozen times without tiring, and here he would show the warrior his superiority. So, slipping out of his vest, he dived straight into the water, cutting through it like a knife, and surfaced with hardly a splash. The warrior's mouth hung open in amazement. You can dive? he exclaimed. It is easy, said Ranji, trending water, waiting for a further challenge. Can you dive? No, said the other, I jump straight in, but if you will tell me how, I will make a dive. It is easy, said Ranji, stand on the rock. Stretch your arms out and allow your head to displace your feet. The warrior stood up, stiff and straight, stretched out his arms and threw himself into the water. He landed flat on his belly with a crash that sent the birds screaming out of the trees. Ranji dissolved into laughter. Word meaning, vigor means strength. Trading water means keeping oneself upright in the deep water by moving the feet. Page 52 
Are you trying to empty the pool? He asked as the warrior came to the surface, spouting water like a small whale. Wasn't it good? Asked the boy, evidently proud of his feat. Not very good, said Ranji. You should have more practice. See, I will do it again. And pulling himself up on the rock, he executed another perfect dive. The other boy waited for him to come up, but swimming under water, Ranji circled him and came upon him from behind. How did you do that? Asked the astonished youth. Can't you swim under water? Asked Ranji. No, but uh, I will try it. The warrior made a tremendous effort to plunge to the bottom of the pool, and indeed he thought he had gone right down, though his bottom. Like a duck's, remained above surface. Ranji, however, did not discourage him. It was not bad, he said, but you need a lot of practice. Will you teach me? Asked his enemy. If you like, I will teach you. You must teach me. If you do not teach me, I will beat you. Will you come here every day and teach me? If you like, said Ranji. They had pulled themselves out of the water and were sitting side by side on a smooth grey rock. My name is Suraj," said the warrior. "What is yours? It is Ranji. I am strong, am I not?" asked Suraj, bending his arm so that a ball of muscle stood up, stretching the white of his flesh. "You are strong," said Ranji. "You are a real pahlwan." One day I will be the world's champion wrestler," said Suraj, slapping his thighs, which shook with the impact of his hand. He looked critically at Ranji's hard, thin body. "You are quite strong yourself," he conceded, "but uh, you are too bony. I know you people do not eat enough. You must come and have your food with me. I drink one seer of milk every day." We have got our own cow. Now the word meaning fiat means clever act, special skill. Plunge means jump. Conceded means admitted. Seer, same as seer, a unit of weight used previously in India. A seer, a little less than a liter, was one fortieth of his mound. Page fifty-three. Be my friend, and I will make you a pahlwan like me. I know if you teach me to dive and swim under water, I will make you a pahlwan. That is fair, isn't it? That is fair," said Ranji, though he doubted if he was getting the better of the exchange. Suraj put his arm around the younger boy and said, "We are friends now." Yes. They looked at each other with honest, unflinching eyes. And in that moment, love and understanding were born. We are friends," said Ranji. The birds had settled again in their branches, and the pool was quiet and limpid in the shade of sal trees. It is our pool," said Suraj. "Nobody else can come here without our permission. Who would dare? Who would dare?" said Ranji, smiling with the knowledge that he had won the day. By Ruskin Bond. Word meaning, unflinching means without blinking, looking straight at each other. Limpid means clear. Comprehension check. One, what is it that Ranji finds difficult to explain at home? Two, Ranji sees his adversary in the bazaar. One of two, what does he wish to do? Two, what does he actually do and why? Three. Ranji is not at all eager for a second fight. Why does he go back to the pool then? Page fifty-four. Four. Who was the better swimmer? How do you know it? Five. What surprises the warrior? Six. Now that they are at the pool, why don't they continue the fight? Seven. Ranji's superiority over the other boy is obvious in the following. Physical strength, good diving, his being a fighter, sense of humor, swimming under water, 
making a good point willingness to help underline the relevant phrases 8 what according to you makes the two adversaries turn into good friends in a matter of minutes explain it as you have understood it exercise discuss the following topics in small groups 1 is fighting the only way of resolving differences of opinion what else can be done to reach mutually acceptable settlement 2 have you ever been in a serious fight only to realize later that it was unnecessary and futile share your experience or views with others frankly and honestly 3 why do some of us find it necessary to prove that we are better than others will you be amused or annoyed to read the following sign at the back of the car in front of you i may be going slow but i am ahead of you think it over good friends are like stars you don't always see them but you know they are there success is the outline of a rest house on the horizon effort is the uneven path leading towards it destiny is the vehicle in which one arrives it so happened you were just listening to this audio book production assistance meenakshi kukreti recorded by batilang lingdo technical assistance vikas sangwan produced by ajit horu and presented by cieet ncert new delhi 2021